Hello YouTube, it's Doss Grigger. Welcome back to another video on another handy tool that may be a little difficult for some to install inside of Gentoo. I just figured this out two seconds ago and wanted to share it with everyone. Handbrake is a wonderful tool that I use a lot to be able to re-encode videos so that I can put them on my NAS drive and be able to play them in different locations such as the PS3 and other multimedia devices. However, whenever I try to emerge Handbrake within Gen 2 right now, it fails miserably on the eMake and gives me almost no information whatsoever on how to fix this. So what I have done is scoured the internet trying to find a way to fix this. And if we look into my Chromium browser, you will see I have numerous tabs open all discussing different things about installing Handbrake, Gen 2 forums, you know, error this, error that, blah, 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 blah. Even some of these look like, well, no, those are different. And I have found the answer to be on this Gen 2 forum right here. This section has saved me from all kinds of headaches. So what I have figured out is one of two things. First off, Handbrake requires Python 2.7 and in Gen 2 here, let me minimize this again for a second. If you do an e select Python list, you will see what we have choices of Python 2.7 and 3.3 .3 for a new build. Now, if I left it at 3.3, .3, it would fail and crash. It's requiring Python 2.7. So, what I had to do first was e select Python set one hit enter and that changed it as you can see there's an asterisk now on python 2.7 that was the first thing we needed to do it can't do that because it's already been set ignore that error the second thing is instead of using the e build which still fails at that point and i'm not sure if they will ever fix the e build uh, or if there's a better one out there, I don't know. I prefer to use the e-builds over compiling from scratch, but sometimes when there's a tool I enjoy using, I find it just best to go with the source. So here it tells you, this is the command you would use to get the handbrake trunk from SVN. As you can see, it's SVN space, well, I'll copy this in the link information and my video so that you can get it so look there for this command otherwise you can see it right here and what I did was I copied this and if I back up just a wee bit more I created in my source directory a handbrake directory and then from here I pasted that command right here SVN space CO space SVN colon slash slash SVN dot handbrake dot FR slash handbrake and make sure you keep everything case sensitive with a capital H and capital B slash trunk space HB dash trunk. Now when I clicked on that, it went out to the SVN repository and downloaded everything for the handbrake. And when you do an LS, you will see it created a directory called hb-trunk. So I went into hb-trunk, and if we do an ls, we'll see that we have the source code for Handbrake. Now what you'll want to do here is dot slash configure, hit enter, and it's going to of course go through, check and make sure everything looks proper, and then it's going to tell you that it's then safe, in fact maybe I can bounce up here to the top and find it because there's a lot of compiling it has to do here but it's just so you can see what it's going to do here and I have to find 
how many times I tried and failed. Okay, so right here, for instance, you can see there's where I did the SVNCO command. And of course, it's grabbing all of that data. Downloading it to the HB trunk directory. All right. And then, as you can see, I saw that. I went into handbrake trunk. There's the configure command. So I did a dot slash configure. That ran this. Now, I'm doing this still as a user. And you'll see that it goes through and finds everything and checks it. It then says build is complete. You may now change directories into dot slash build and run make. Now this is where you have to do something a little bit different because I tried that and it starts to go through, it starts to download and then it fails right here. You can see that it did not work. So this is where this comes in handy. See, they say here, you will need to build using want auto make equals 1.10 make. So what I did here was I typed in want auto make equals 1.10 space make, and I ran that. Now, it says here that it failed for them, and then they had to run make again. I went through this whole thing, and it did not fail. Now, as you can see, it's downloading, it's compiling all its little flags, doing everything it needs to do. You know, compile, compile, boom, 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 boom. More compiling, fun, fun, fun. Compiling, compiling, more fun. Boom, 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 boom. More compiling. You know, give you the the feel that it feels like when you're watching compiling go through. There you go. Compiling, compiling, doing some more compiling. A lot of compiling down there. We're getting real close to the finish line here, though. I just sense it. Or maybe it's because I see the the bar getting closer. Come on, we're almost there. So compile, compile, compile. Almost there. Almost. Just about there. Finishing up probably the last few steps as we go through. So anyway, it, just, it, it finishes all the compiling. It doesn't error out. There are no problems with getting it to go ahead and do the full make compilation and then we get all the way down here we're almost at the bottom just about done there we go okay now once you've done this we want to do a sudo make install and you'll see that it's copying the command line interface of handbrake you'll see that it goes through now the funny thing about handbrake is if you want to use the GUI it calls it GHB it doesn't just call it handbrake but if you want to use the command line version, it's Handbrake CLI. So if that really threw me off. So I had to look through here again so I can see that, yes, it's installing user bin install to GHB and bringing in that. So now that we have all that, it finishes up, and there it is. It compiled, installed. If I go here to my start, go to multimedia, I see that I have Handbrake media transcoder and voila we have handbrake a very useful transcoding tool that has is very useful for grabbing video from a dvd if you want to digitize it for your nas drive or to create a video that you want to play on your ipod ipad apple tv android device etc they have uh, very good profiles that you click on these and it changes all the video stuff and sets everything up for you and it should work if you just want it for normal stuff you use the regular profiles down here and you're good to go so there you have it handbrake for gen 2 that should save a few headaches and hopefully someday they fix their e-build and it will work again we'll see until next time thank you for watching if it's morning evening noon or night enjoy it have a great day, and we'll talk with you later. Bye, guys.